Hey, welcome back to the Filmmaker's Formula. I'm Kevin. If you're new to this channel, I like to break down effects and elements of good video and share them with you so you can add them to your arsenal of editing techniques. A couple weeks ago, a subscriber asked on how you would go about recreating the Parks and Rec intro. So that's what we'll be covering today. Parks and Rec is an American sitcom surrounding a group of people in Indiana in the Parks and Recreation Department. It actually stars a lot of well-known people like uh, Rashida Jones, Ron Swanson, uh, Aziz I'm Sorry. Oh, and this guy. You might recognize this guy as the Star-Lord. It's really one of those classic American sitcoms that you just can't get enough of. But enough of that, let's go back to what we were talking about the intro. At a first glance, it does look kind of complicated with a lot of moving parts, but when we break it down, you'll see how easy it is to create your own Parks and Rec intro in no time. Let's take a closer look. So this is the intro. At a glance, there are these blocks that are zooming in and out as the video goes on. The pattern maintains pretty consistent throughout the whole intro. There is a name at the top and a landscape scene, followed by a couple videos of the character itself. Let's take this basic concept and move into Premiere Pro to see how we can get this done. We'll be using keyframes in this section, more specifically the position and scale keyframe. I've covered these things in the past in previous videos, but I'm just gonna go over them again once more. Let's just start with this one video. Let's say I wanna take it and zoom it out to the corner like we saw before. What we wanna do is to adjust the position keyframes to where we want it. As you can see, we can do that by merely messing with the number on the edge. Once you do that, you want to click this little stopwatch. It'll become highlighted. And this basically means that we have started to record our action. Then we move it a little bit down further into the timeline and simply move the picture where we want it. Note that a keyframe will be automatically made if the position or scale is changed when the stopwatch is highlighted. What we have after that is this simple animation. If we go ahead and do this for the remaining blocks, here I'm just going to show you how I would do it. This is what we would get. There might be a little bit of messing around with the keyframes, but if this is used as an intro, you would only have to do this once. Now we have the basic movements down. You can use your own creative license for the rest. And for the black lines that you see in the Parks and Rec intro, what you could do there is to add a solid black background to your footage and scale the videos down a little bit so you get to see those lines. There's honestly several other ways you could do this. Another smart way is to make a giant collage of all the scenes you had in mind. Once you have it in position, all you would have to do is to nest the footage together. And all that does is to group them together so when you move it or change the scale and position keyframes, they would all move at once. And don't worry, nesting isn't permanent. You can always go back and edit it later. Now what you have is a big map with different puzzle pieces where you can zoom in and out with the keyframes we learned earlier. If you like this type of breakdown video, let me know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, why not let me know on what you'd like to see next? I'm here all week. I've done a couple more uh, breakdown videos like the Brooklyn 99 intro. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out after this one. Until the next video, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later.